welcome back everybody uh things are good things are good around here yep. um we have our book club going on inside of our million dollar academy community yeah. it's been going awesome we've uh we're actually been covering the book by mike mccallowitz uh we're talking about um pumpkin plant pumpkin it's plants so, yes i've read so many mike mccallowitz books it's you're trying, getting it's hard to remember yeah hard to remember which one goes where so um, but no, it's it's been going awesome. Uh, people have been really receptive to it and really hopping in and, and learning a lot from the books, which, I mean, obviously is the whole point of it. Um, but it's it's a definitely a great thing we've added. Yeah, well, we're trying to up, upgrade. <laughs> the, <laughs> we've had a community portion of our academy for a while, and this is just one way that we really wanted to improve the experience for our members mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people are book readers and it's always easier to get the book read if you have some accountability because you know other people are going to show yep. up. Uh, number two, even if you're not a reader, you can always listen to it on Audible, Audible mm -hmm. or whatever. I, yeah. I listen to them. Um, you can get books free from the library. Our our library our library uses an app called Libby, okay. where you can listen to audiobooks or get digital copies of books. So if you're like, oh, I don't necessarily want to buy the books, um, I think the local public libraries are a great place that you can look for it, but. It's just been a good experience. Um, hmm. And even if you don't read the book, I don't know if they'll kick you out of the group, <laughs> but you can always come in and just listen. Well, yeah, and the nice thing about doing it this way, and I never really thought about it until it started happening. When you read something, you get you know, like your thoughts, your opinions on things, and then you start hearing somebody else say something they took out of it and how they thought about it a different way. It's like, oh, I never really thought about it that way. So that, that's one cool thing. And like, I've never been a part of a book club until this happened. So well, most people are like, I don't want to be in a book club. Yeah. That's for like middle-aged moms that yeah. don't really read the books. They just get together and drink wine. <laughs> but that's not, that's not the point of this one. It is because it does. It, to mm -hmm. it totally makes a difference. That's one of the reasons why Scott and I are both on this podcast is mm -hmm. because if you've been listening for a while, you know that a lot of times we kind we have different takes on the same topics. And yeah. so the same thing happens inside of the book club. So if that's something you've ever been interested in, we have um, the enrollment in the, into the academy is open right now. We yep. do have slots for one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching as well. So hop on our website, check it all out. It's all on there. It is going great. And on that note, we will be back after a word from our sponsors where we're actually going to talk about uh, how many, like five, five. of, yep. so these are Scott Molchan recommendations. I did mm -hmm. not pick these books out. I've read most of them, but not all of them. So uh, we'll be right back and we can go through Scott's book list. This podcast is brought to you by Busy Busy. Busy Busy is so simple to use and it's the most reliable GPS time tracking app on the market. And the best part is it was built for landscapers. Busy Busy's founder created Busy Busy because he owns multiple construction companies and needed to understand better which projects were making him money and which projects were killing him. Payroll is the highest variable cost in the project, so you better be tracking it. Busy Busy does this better than anyone else. So download Busy Busy today and don't forget to mention the Million Dollar Landscaper podcast to get three free months. We want to take a quick second to tell you about our friends over at Cycle CPA. I can't even express to you how important it is to have a good accountant on your side. You know you want accurate bookkeeping and financial statements every month. Instead, you're often left with limited time to focus on the accounting side of your business and no reports to show for it. At Cycle CPA, the landscaping accountants, they not only handle the bookkeeping, but also provide landscape industry benchmarking, job costing, financials by service line, advisory meetings, and much more. Cycle CPA has a team of landscaping accountants available to provide anything from bookkeeping to CFO services. Visit CycleCPA.com and for $100 off, mention the Million Dollar Landscaper podcast. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we have got Scott, Scott's five book recommendations, five of Scott's book recommendations, however you want to say it. These are five business books specifically that Scott has picked out that he has read that, what, do you feel like they've made a, just a pretty big difference in your yeah, mindset, they, your business, your thoughts? What, yeah, what was the reasoning behind here? A little bit of everything. Um, and I think these are very good books if you are, you know, just kind of getting going on your, your landscaping journey and, you know, a couple of years into your landscape business. These are very good books to kind of get you in the right mindset, get you thinking of ways to to improve your business. And, are they uh, good for seasoned oh, yeah. I mean, as anybody, well? Anybody can get value out of any of these books. Um, and we'll kind of go to each one and kind of go over like a, a brief description of what's a, what they're all about. 
Um, the first one I'm dive right in. The first one is E-Myth by Michael Gerber. And this one was... This is like this, an oldie but goodie. Yeah. And you bought this for me, I don't even remember how long ago, like... Literally when we first had this, it was in the early 2000s. It was <laughs> when, because you had been working with your dad, and mm -hmm. it was when we started having serious conversations about getting more involved mm -hmm. in the business. It had to be like 2000 or 2001. Yeah. This, book has, this book is and like 23 years old. Yeah, and this this one I've read it multiple times. You know, there's pages yeah. folded over. Well, just your then, copy is 23 years yeah. old. I'm, the book itself is, is much oh, older than that, but it's one of those that just really stands the test of time. Oh yeah, definitely. And there's different versions out there. There's different landscaping ones out there now. Uh, oh, one like the E-Myth for contractors, E-Myth for insert topic There's one here. for landscapers. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Bass, he's another business consultant. He helped co-write it with uh, Michael Gerber. Um, it's a great one too. I've read them both, um, but this is just general one. It, it is very good. So if you can't get the landscaping one, same principles are in here. Um, but it, it's this is a great book. It helps you think of your business in different aspects as far as um, you're you're the entrepreneur you're you know the manager you're the, the you know the worker bee and stuff like that and it breaks it down and really gets you thinking of if you want to be the person that gets out of the field there's things you need to do in your business to get out of there and how it gets you just different thing different gets you thinking different about uh the different portions of your business you know if you're a worker bee you're a manager or you're the entrepreneur this is one of the books i have read out of your list and my biggest takeaway like if i had to sum the whole book up my biggest takeaway was I honestly never had even thought about the different roles that an owner can play in the business. Mm -hmm. And reading this book book was one of the first times that I was like, what, you can own the business and not just work out in the field all day. Mm -hmm. I literally just thought like that that was how <laughs> the world was because well, that's it's... the only thing we had ever seen. It's the only thing we had seen modeled. Everybody that we knew that had businesses, um, at least landscaping businesses, I would say even not even inside our own business, but other landscaping businesses, a lot, yeah. a lot of them operated in the same way. Yeah. So it was just that that was like the first introduction to like, oh, wait, there might be other better ways that we could do this. Yeah. So that's why I have it as number one. Uh, we recommend if, for those that like getting started in the landscape or uh, Millionaire Academy, uh, folks that are in our Facebook group, this is like one of the things we send out to like, hey, you need to read this book. So definitely check yes. it out. Um, the next one is by one of my favorite authors, uh, and you'll see a pattern here. We talked about this, but uh, is by Mike Michalowicz, Fix This Next. Um, this is an um, awesome book, especially if you're stuck in your business. And it's easy to get stuck in your business trying to figure out, man, I just have, I need to work on marketing. I need to get people organized. I need to do this and this. And you don't know where to begin and where to start in your business. So this book gives you a nice layout to figure out where to start in your business. And I, I think it's just, he just breaks it down very easily for you to, to figure out where to pinpoint where to start. Yeah. One of the things I like about this book is it really follows what we do inside of our academy. Mm -hmm. Honest to God, it really lined up. So we were like, score, we're doing it right. <laughs> um, the only thing we kind of have a step before his, because his biggest, his, when, he, when Mike McCallowitz talks about fixing your business, the first thing that he says to focus on is sales, making sure you're making us enough sales. The only thing that we do differently is we put numbers before sales because yes. there's no point in making more sales if your numbers are crap. Mm -hmm. And so, but other than that, we really, honest to God, follow a similar kind of structure um, as far as the recommendation of the order of things to look at in your business. Yeah. So it just really, it helps give clarity if you're just wheels are turning you're not sure what to do, like, oh my gosh. And we were actually fixed this next certified yep. um, for a while. I think that certification might have ran out. We just didn't redo it. Um, it. I mean, but whatever, we know all this stuff. And so if it's something that you ever have questions about, that's something that you could reach out um, and always like send us an email or book a phone call mm -hmm. with Scott um, and could run through anything um, related to that, just as far as how to prioritize what to fix next in yeah. your business. Yeah, so it, it, it's definitely a great book, especially if you're stuck on something or you got so many things going on you're not we're not sure where to begin all right so the next book is uh written by our friend jack joss is he wrote this book it's called the tree of good fortune and we've given this out a couple different times because it, it is such a great book um and he's been on the podcast a couple of times as well uh jack joss is uh from ramblin jackson yeah. is it just a marketing company or yeah. how they're, they're a marketing company um they help create 
amazing websites and, and like videos and, and just create a whole sales process for you. Um, and the one thing I do love about this book that sometimes like books are, that are written by uh, people that own businesses and, and companies, they kind of write them just to kind of give you just enough information to like make you want to hire them. And I get it. I've I'm read not some knocking. of the, those kind of books and I hate it. You're like, this is not real information. Yes. This is nonsense. And yeah. the thing I love about this is he gives you actual advice that you can use to apply to your business today. Um, and he talks about a bunch of different things, but kind of breaking down like your sales funnel. Um, he talks about like SEO, stuff to do on your website. Um, his, his thing is finding your hell yes customer. So basically it's just finding your ideal customer that you want to get in front of. Um, so it is a great book and I really, really recommend it, especially if you're kind of struggling and figuring out what you need to do for marketing and how to get out there and some SEO and you can't afford to necessarily hire somebody, go check this book out. Awesome. That is one I have not read, mm -hmm. but I know it's got to be good because Jack's a good guy. Yeah. Um, the next book, I don't have a, a, a physical book. This one I have on both Audible and, and on Kindle. Um, but this one's called Extreme Ownership by Jack, uh, Jacko Wilnick and Leif uh, Babin or Babin. I'm not sure how you say the last name, um, but they wrote this book and it's all about leadership skills. Are they the ones that are like ex-Marines or yeah, something like that? Yeah, they're SEALs. Yeah, oh, they're, they, yeah. Okay. And this book is actually one that I've read and, and listened to multiple times because it is really good. Um, and like like we said, they're, they're ex-military people. They, they created a firm. They basically teach leadership skills based on military basis. And I know you might be thinking, well, if you never read the book, you might be thinking, I don't want to, you know, imply that we need to take military tactics to our, our business. It's not that it don't, don't think that, um, they're actual practical skills because there's like a whole thing. And if you ever listen to like Simon Sinek, uh, uh -huh. talk about things, he refers back to a lot of skills that he has learned from the military itself because they're they're very practical skills that we need to uh, in a, to instill in our business i'm talking about like team culture and just getting people to work together and that's what this book is all about so um if you want to you know learn how to become a better leader or yeah what's your biggest takeaway from those books we're on another one that i've not read or listened yeah. to but you always do you always you talk about this book a lot and actually <laughs> you like send clips of it to our son who's 17 <laughs> who i mean we're not saying that we're okay yes we're working on his attitude well yeah. he's 17 like that's self-explanatory but it i mean it's good enough that scott's you know recommending bits of it to our own child yeah so. it, it, no it, it's just a great book and this is like one too like if you want to encourage people on your team you have leadership roles like if you have a even a, a crew leader or a sales manager or some kind of manager this is a great book that I really recommend that you get everybody on board and, and, and take back to your business and look at your business and figure out how you can apply some of these uh, tactics and, and skills that he teaches in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last one, again. <laughs> Another Mike Michalowicz book. Yeah, He's so, showing up again. Um, Man, he should be sponsoring. I know, I know. <laughs> um, this is the one called Clockwork. And this one is another one about system procedures. Um, the one thing I really like about Mike's writing is it's just very down to earth. He's it's a easy very, to read. Yeah, it's very, very easy to read. Like we talked about earlier, uh, before we started this, we're doing the pumpkin plan in our book club and people are really digging his writing and just the way well, he it's writes. engaging. Cause a yeah, lot of times when people think of reading a book, you're like, I'm going to fall asleep mm -hmm. when I'm like three paragraphs in. Yeah, and his writing style does keep you engaged mm -hmm. and it'll keep you reading. Yeah, I mean, he does he does curse in there a little bit. He even tells you in one of the, I don't remember which one of the books, but he tells you like if yeah. you don't like cursing, don't read this book. And it's not like he's it's not it's bad. not like offensive. It's or just horrible. a few things yeah. here and there. Uh, but he's just a very realistic guy and, and a down to earth guy. Uh, but again, going back to this book, this one is all about systems and, and just kind of getting your business organized um to a point that makes sense and, and how you should basically kind of lay it out so um it, it just basically if you need a well oil and machine set up in your business go check out this book um but yeah those are my top five this was actually kind of hard i rewrote this podcast that outlined a couple, a couple times. times just because it was so hard for me to figure out there's a ton well, of that's different okay. books. we can talk about books again yeah. do you want to run through just a quick review of what the title of the book was and what your biggest takeaway was just real quick yeah, i think so, just to review like number one was the e-myth yeah e-myth obviously this one's a, a classic um this one was written by michael gerber and this one is again about 
systems and, and stuff, but just kind of get you thinking how you can get out of the field and how to get yourself set up and, and be. Yeah. And it's a lot about systems, business. but I definitely think it's, it's good for the business owner mm -hmm. to read <laughs> specifically, because if you need to change your little mindset around how you're setting up your business and all that, I just, I think that's a good one specifically for business owners. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And like I said, there's different versions of that one. Yeah. Outlined a Any couple times. Any version will is, be good. Uh, the next one is by Mike Michalowicz, Fix This Next. Uh, just This one was just all about pinpointing where to start with things that are wrong in your business. Um, just because there's so many different things in your business. And like, I know Katie gets... The big idea on this one is, yes, is to just take action. And if you're getting stuck, it will help you pick what to fix next. Because I am someone that will have too many things to fix. And I'll yep. spin my wheels a little bit. And so I've had to learn how to be like, no, stop. What is my priority? <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. Uh, the next one is, like I said, is written by our friend Jack Justice, The Tree of Good Fortune. Um, he has actually written another book, too, that is somewhat in line with this one. But this one is a little more tailored towards landscaping. Um, uh, that's something with digital marketing. I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank on it. But it is yeah. kind of pulls like, from it's that. It's probably on our bookshelf, yeah. but I can't see that far. Um, <laughs> that's but, all right. But it, this one kind of goes along the line with it. But again, it just helps you market and finding what he calls your hell yes customer. Uh, so it's definitely a good book to kind of get into. Uh, the next one is Extreme Ownership by um, mm -hmm. Leif Babin and Jack uh, Jacko Wilnick. And this one's all about leadership skills. So much information to draw from in there. And it it's a good book, especially like you know, a lot of guys don't want to read and they think uh, reading stupid. But this one's pretty good as far as like keep you interested because it's like military based and they, you, you know, share some of the stories. So if you're not, you don't, don't consider yourself read, a reader, you, you'll might probably be engaging. Like this one. Yeah. Yep. And the last one is another one by Mike McCallowitz called clockwork. And this one is just, it's all about system procedures and, and helping you get out of the field and, and get your business organized so you can. Well, hence the title. If you want your business to run like clockwork, yeah. that's not going to just magically happen. Systems are the key to yeah. getting that to happen. One of the things he talks about, I'll uh, just kind of refer back to, I didn't mention earlier, was taking like a four-week vacation and getting your business set up to so you can, as the owner, take a four-week vacation. Not saying you have to, but uh, you should be able to take, you know, step back from your business. If you get ill or something mm -hmm. and you can't run it, you need your team to run it. So this is a good book to kind of get you going on that. So. So again, those are my five top five books that I really recommend you you take a look at and check out as a as a landscape business owner, whether you lead, read them, listen to them, whatever. Uh, as they say, readers are leaders. Leaders are readers. So um, definitely uh, check them out. Yeah. And if you need some accountability for that, like we said, we've got the book club going inside the academy right now. And the, the academy members are picking the books. It's mm -hmm. not like us yeah. dictating like... Yeah. Here's what you have to do. Um, and so don't, you know, it's not, it's, it's not just like us telling you what to do. Really, really going forward, we want the community portion to be community led. Mm -hmm. That is our whole point. Of course, we're in there and we participate, but it's really for the landscapers. And yeah. so that's what that's nice because the first one I, I got it going and now our the community members, the people that are in our academy are taking over they're the ones leading mm -hmm. in this whole conversation and getting it going and I'm, like kitty said we're just kind of there to mm -hmm. talk and, and i'll share my thoughts and what i've taken from it but it's all about you guys and, and getting you set up so well and getting all those different opinions out mm -hmm. there and so it's really been great and it's something that i highly recommend so yep. if i do say so myself all right do you have any questions right, for me some... before we oops there we clock go. out for the day what would you constitute as a perfect day a perfect day um, I would wake up well rested, the sun would be shining, and the temperature would be probably like around 65 to 72. That's my perfect temperature. Um, I think and... she's thought about this one before. Oh, no. I'm just saying this would like, <laughs> that would be my perfect day. And it's beautiful outside. And I would have a slow morning, coffee, sitting around petting the dogs. And then me, you, the kids, and the dogs would get in the car and go hike maybe at the dunes um we live by indiana dunes national lakeshore yep. or it's actually indiana dunes national, national park, park. Yep. they switched it yeah uh and we would go hike at the dunes or um that's because it's close like i'm modeling this around us being at home not on yep. vacation otherwise i do like sleeping bear dunes up in michigan anyway we would go <laughs> then hike all day at the dunes and have snacks while we were gone 
and then come home and somebody would make dinner that is not me. And then we would have a lovely family dinner and then somebody would clean up the mess that is not me. Uh, and then we would all just like watch a movie together. I think those are some subtle hints for me in there. You right. are the one that asked the question. <laughs> so right. my perfect days involve good weather, sunshine, family, and dogs. Gotcha. That's the summary. All right. <laughs> What's the difference between cockiness and confidence? Um, oh, well, in my mind, that one's pretty easy is because cockiness comes with a chip. It, like you have a little chip on your shoulder and that's like the feeling of superiority around it. Where confidence is just uh, secure in your knowledge and you don't act like an asshole about it. Yeah, true. Okay. What is one thing you wish you knew before you started on your entrepreneur journey? <laughs> just one thing. This is a whole, this is a whole <laughs> podcast episode. It could be. <laughs> um, let's see. I wish I knew that I was going to have to have better time management skills than I currently had, because mm -hmm. that's something I've ha had to acquire. Yes, I can see that. It, <laughs> along it, well, the way. It is. It's true. I had to learn it along the way. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's all I had for you. So um, I guess I have to take some hints and make dinner. And if you up. don't want my answers, don't ask me about my perfect day. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Gotcha. On that note, if you're if you want to read some books hop on check out our go to our website check out million dollar academy uh because like we said this is all part of the community portion of the academy because i don't even know if we talk about the community portion a lot no, people no, might not have even known it was there but we're amping it up we're making it better all based on our members feedback yep so get in there today yep all right well thanks for joining us and hope you have a great day